let's try to solve this concentration problem that's going to be a little bit bigger because it contains all the concentration units in there. Um, the question says the solution is prepared by adding 20 grams of BACL2 in 250 milliliters of water and this, uh, you're asked to suppose the density of resulting solution is 1.2 grams per milliliters and you got to calculate mass percent, mass volume percent, molality, molarity and the mole fraction at the end. So let's start out with mass percent or before we actually go in there 250 milliliters of water is going to be the same as 250 grams of water because remember the density of water is 1 grams per milliliters. The mass percent definition is going to be the mass of solute divided by the mass of the solution times 100. So if we know the mass of solute and know the mass of the solution, we should be able to figure out the mass percent easily. So let's see what we have so far. We have solute is going to be the barium chloride or BaCl2 here. And uh, we got 20 grams of that. And let's see how many, how much solution we're going to have. So remember your solution is going to be the combination of the solute and the solvent. So your solute is 20 grams plus your solvent is going to be 250 grams. So that's going to be the total uh, grams of the solution. And then you multiply that by 100. So then uh, let's see what that comes out to be. So you got 20 divided by 270. So that's going to be 7.4% BACL2 by mass. So that's how you write it down. What about uh, the next one? It says the mass volume percent. So we need the mass of the solute, which we already have. We need the volume of the solution. Okay, so the S, you have to worry about the units here. So the mass is going to be measured in grams, and the volume here is going to be measured in milliliters. And then you multiply that by 100. We don't really know the volume of the solution. However, we do know the total mass of the solution. So your solution density is going to be 1.2 grams per milliliters and we also know the mass of the solution is going to be I'll just write down mass is going to be 270 grams so using the mass and the density we can figure out what the volume going to be for the solution so I can go ahead and write that down here it's going to be 270 grams and then use the density to figure out the volume. So I can uh, write down milliliters on the top and grams on the bottom. So this is going to be 1.2 per 1 milliliters. So that way grams cancels out. So then you have 270 divided by 1.2. So it's going to be 225 milliliters for the volume of your solution. So now you know the volume of the solution. We know the mass of the solution. So we can go ahead and calculate the percent mass volume. So your mass of the solute is still 20 grams of BACL2. And then your volume now is going to be 225 milliliters of the solution. And then times 100. So 20 divided by 225. And then that's going to be 8.89% BACL2 by mass volume. So that's how you really write that out. Okay, so usually the mass percent and the mass volume percent, they are going to be close to one another. They're not going to be the same. Um, the only time they would be the same if your solution is fairly dilute. Uh, other than that, they're going to be close to one another, but not exactly the same. Now let's figure out the molality. So the molality definition is going to be the moles of solute. So I can probably just move this a little bit. It's got the moles of solute divided by the kilograms of solvent. Now I don't really have the moles of solute uh, in here yet. I know the mass of solute. So we have 20 grams of BACL2. So how would you find the moles here? Well, if you're given the mass of the solute, 
you can calculate the moles of solute by using the molar mass. So that's exactly what you're going to have to do here. So we know, uh, well, we got to figure out what the ma um, molar mass is going to be for barium chloride. So barium is 137.33, and then you got two chlorines. So each chlorine is 35.5, roughly. So your molar mass for this is going to be 208.3 grams per mole. So I can go ahead and write down 208.3 grams of barium chloride on the bottom and then one mole of BaCl2 on the top. So that way your grams cancels out. And then it's going to be 20 divided by 208.3 so it's going to be 0 0.096 moles of BACL2 okay we already know what the solvent how much solvent we have so we should be able to figure out the molality now so molality is going to be lowercase m we got uh, 0 0.096 moles and then as far as the kilograms of solvent go, we are using 250 grams of water. So that's going to be 0 0.250. So remember, we're using the solvent here, not the solution. So that's why we're going to have to use 250, not uh, 270 here. So we get uh, 0 0.096 divided by 0 0.25. That's going to be 0 0.38 molal. That's going to be your molality for this particular solution. Similarly, we can do the molarity as well. The molarity is going to be the moles of the solute, which is still the BACL2. We already found that uh, in the earlier set. And we need the volume of the solution in liters. Well, we know the volume of solution, but maybe not necessarily in liters. The volume of solution is 225. So it's going to be moles. So the moles is going to be 0 0.096. So it's going to be uppercase M here. And then that's going to be divided by volume of the solution in liters. So the volume is 225. That's in milliliters, though. So this 225 milliliters is going to be the same as 0.225 liters. It's 0.225 liters. And that will give you the molarity. So we got 0 0.096 divided by 0.225. So that's going to be 0.43 as your molarity there. So again, your molarity and your molality, they're going to be close to one another, but they may not be equal to one another. The only time the molality and the molarity would be the same if the solution is dilute enough. Okay, let's calculate the mole fraction. So now, as far as the mole fraction go, you could be calculating the mole fraction of the BACL2, or you could be calculating the mole fraction of uh, water as well. You need moles for both of those because you need the moles of solute and the total moles. So the total moles are going to be including the moles of solute plus the moles of solvent. So let's first figure out the moles of water in there. So I know we're going to be using 250 milliliters of water, 250 grams of water. So it's going to be 250 grams of H2O. And remember how you find them moles, you use the molar mass. So it's going to be one mole of H2O on the top and water is 18 grams, so 18 grams of H2O on the bottom. So that's going to be 250 divided by 18.01. So that's 13.88 moles of H2O. Okay, so now you know the moles for both of them, and we also know the moles of the barium chloride. Because remember, we calculated that earlier, and that was 0 0.096. Okay, so if I want to calculate the mole fraction of BACL2 first, 
I would go ahead and do 0 0.096 moles of BACL2 divided by 0 0.096 plus the moles of water which is 13.88 and whatever that gives you is going to be the mole fraction. So 0 0.096 divided by 0 0.096 plus 13.88 that's going to be 0 0.00 Six, nine, to be the mole fraction of uh, barium chloride. Well, how would you find out the mole fraction of water if you have to do that? There's a couple of ways you can do it. You can do 13.88 divided by 0 0.096 plus 13.88, or even you can subtract the mole fraction of uh, BACL2 from 1, and whatever you get, that's going to be the mole fraction for water. So either one of those ways are going to be fine. If you know the mole fraction of one, you can get the mole fraction of the second compound by just subtracting from one. So that's going to be 0.9931. So mole fraction doesn't really have any units. Uh, it's just a ratio of the moles, basically. So that's just going to be a simple number and it's always going to be less than one. So this is how you're going to be calculating a bunch of these molar uh, concentration terms. If you have any questions regarding this uh, concept, feel free to leave any comments in the section below.